Greetings, people. How's it going? Hey guys. No again. Hey. Baby Nick. It's all sick. Baby oh, Nick's so sick. sick. We're all sick. He's going to get me sick. And I won't be able to go to work tomorrow. What a shame. All right. So in this video, we're going to be drawing Trevor Belmont because I just watched it on Netflix and I think it's pretty awesome. Nick, have you seen this uh, Castlevania thing? Yeah. No, actually, I'm going to watch it sometime soon. Maybe I'll watch it this week. All right. You got to check it out, man. It's pretty awesome. I mean, I digged it. I digged it. Is that a word? I dug it. Digged it. Digged it. I dug it quite a bit. It was. It's pretty cool. Um, the only disappointment, really, is that I didn't know this when I started watching it, but it's only four episodes. But it was just a test run, I think. Um, it got renewed for another eight episodes. So I'm pretty excited. Anyway... Let's get started. I promised to talk more about the actual video in this one. With a One Punch Man, I just did a whole bunch of nothing. I was just goofing around, but for this one here, I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be talking about it as it's playing. So let's go. All right, here I go. Just starting off with the uh, loose gesture. Um, oh yeah, I remember this. I, I actually didn't like this initial pose. It looked too boring, generic. So I think I actually, um, I did this. I went through it. These things don't take me that long anyway. It did, I mean, this took about eight minutes or something like that just to kind of rough it out. So I don't feel terrible when I, um, when I have to scrap it because I didn't invest a lot of time into it. So yeah, I just deleted that and I'm, I'm starting a new one. More dynamic poses. Just keep it, up, keep it in mind. Don't be afraid to kind of uh, ditch your initial um, if it's not working out. It, it's better to kind of, uh, you know, realize your mistakes early on than later on. Uh, you don't want to put in four hours and then all of a sudden not like the pose, right? It's, it's better to kind of just, um, even if you're one hour in and you don't like it, uh, that's fine. Just just ditch it and start all, start all over again. Or do like most professional artists do and just uh, do like rough sketches first before you actually dig it, uh, dive into it. So here's me around the face, the skull. Blah, blah, blah. Baby Nick is in the background playing the, the Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy, yeah. What is it? 13? Final. I don't know when the online one is. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Final Fantasy before. Is that the new one? The new expansion or whatever that just came out? Yeah, Stormblood. There you go. Stormblood. And how do you like it so far? I haven't gotten the new expansion yet. I just started. Oh. But I'm enjoying the game. It's fun. Yeah. Looks like fun. I mean, the graphics look so clean. Yeah. And like, it's pretty story rich. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I mean, like it's not super detailed, right? But it's, it's just, the it's graphics are really, really clean. Yeah, yeah the, like, I mean, the art design and stuff like that is awesome. So where am I here? Uh, I don't think I like the first arm. Um, so I, I substituted it with a different arm. I think that's where I'm at right now. Trevor Belmont. Oh, yeah. Trevor Belamonte. It's not Belamonte. It's, it's Belmont. Uh, yeah, I really dig, uh, dug the the anime of this. It's, um, you could tell it was written for the Western crowd. It, it doesn't seem like um, very Japanese inspired. There's a lot of swearing, a lot of gore. The writing is very uh, Americanized, I find. Um, but yeah, it's it's been. Uh, she sounds like an awesome. Just from you describing it there. Yeah, yeah, it's totally awesome, man. I mean, hey, maybe that's what we'll do. What? The day off tomorrow. Yeah. I'll binge it. Binge watch well, it. Well, it's not really even binging. It's like you'll be done in like less than two hours. It's, it's still like a still big. Watch. Yeah, it's pretty cool though. I mean, if you haven't if you haven't already, you should check it out for sure. I highly recommend it, and I, I can't wait till the next uh, eight episodes. <laughs> I wrote on there. It looks too much like like Alucard. Um, it did because I think um, the hair was too flowy and long and stuff like that and that's the hardest part of this drawing is um, coming up with the or getting the hair right for some reason I had a hard time with it and I spent most of my time trying to figure out hair uh, as you can see I'm doing the research right now I couldn't get it right but in the end I think um, I think it worked out and as always I always struggle with the face initially so this face is um, a lot more, this is after the polish, so it's, it's gotten a, 
a lot better. I'm really out of it. I just finished working out. I actually feel like throwing up right now. Oh god, just the thought of just me saying throwing up made me just kind of... Man, that was rough. Almost tossed my cookie there. My cookie? My cookies. Cookie or cookies? They lost your lunch. Toss chunks. I like to be complicated. Oh, man. But yeah, here I am going in. I'm cleaning up the lines. Um... I'm a huge fan. I, I think I've said it before. I'm, I'm all about line work. I, I just love clean lines, and um, I think it's gonna be. Uh, <laughs> I think I wrote stupid hair there, <laughs> but um, it's a big problem for me because I want to kind of get into the more painterly style, and the lines doesn't help at all. Because with the painterly style, you kind of want to get rid of the lines. You want to start blocking in shapes as opposed to drawing the physical lines that are there. Baby Nick, what are you doing, Baby Nick? Are you reading a story? Yeah, I'm going through a cutscene with no volume. Oh, cool. Thanks. <laughs> this thing will pick up everything. I know. I've already got complaints about my audio quality. So for this one here, I actually um, I'm also re recording on my Meteor mic um, separately, and I'm not relying on the the stupid audio off the GX G7X because the uh, the audio on that's total garbage. So I hope this fare is a bit better. I'm counting. I'm kind of counting on it. It should. I mean, technically. But we'll see. Baby steps, right, Nick? Yep. Baby steps. We're trying to become professional. We're we're amateurs trying to become professional. What do you mean we? I just stayed in your house for a week. No, dude, you're in this now. All right. You're gonna be like a floating guest. Yes. Eh? Yeah. For one week. That's if I do another one. Yeah. Uh, Alright, Fan Expo. Fan Expo. Um, I live in Toronto, so uh, there's a Fan Expo coming up. Do you remember what, what date that was? It's, uh... Oh, it is 1, 2, 3 September. What? It's really that far away? I thought it was sooner. I thought it was in August. Like the end of August. August 31st, September Ha! Huh. Okay, so we're both right. We could both be right, right? I, I just remember that it's on the 3rd, because I gotta go home. And on the 4th... He's like Michael Buble, he's gotta go home. <laughs> a terrible on joke. On Nobody knows what that is. What's that? On the 4th or the 5th, I gotta go do orientation. Okay. School. And then I got, like, school starts on the 5th and the 6th. Yeah, this guy still goes to school. I've been out of school for, like, 100 years now. I might actually have a lot in common with, uh... Castlevania, I'm a vampire. <laughs> so yeah, you're gonna be back at Fan Expo, then we can do more videos, right? Hopefully I'll have a new batch of drawings so I can commentate over. Yeah, no, I'll give you, if you're ever wondering, if you ever need inspiration. I know, you, Makoto, right? Just any character, I'll give, you, I'll give you, I can give you characters all day, every day. Alright. Yeah, send me some just suggestions, I mean. You just, you have to, I think... You gotta watch like a show, and you gotta like the show and be inspired. By yeah, it. yeah. That'll that's that's the best way for you. I I'm agree. That. See that wise words from such a young man. He's one hundred percent right. Um, yeah. Right now I'm I'm going like I usually draw weapons like swords and guns like that separately because I suck at it. So I I don't wanna I don't want to draw it right on and try to kind of draw around the hand and try to make everything match and stuff like that. So I draw it separately just so I can get the perspective right. And and um, I don't know if you guys go through this or not, but when you draw swords on the hand, sometimes you'll get like the hilt and then the blade, it's, it's kind of crooked and it just doesn't look right. So the way I like to do it is I like to draw the sword, say it's a sword or a gun and stuff like that on its own. And then I like to kind of fit that into the hand, if that makes sense or not. Right? Yeah, exactly. If I don't like the sword, I'll do like a hammer or something like that. But I'll make sure I have the uh, the perspective and everything like that uh, the same. So I don't know. The video just paused here. I think I probably left to go to the washroom or something like that. 
but um, yeah so right now I have the, the the clean lines and I'm pretty happy with it I, overall I'm pretty happy with the way this um, this drawing turned out um, I thought the, the pose is really dynamic I like the the fluidity of the uh, the clothing and everything like that so not bad oh I actually do start coloring um, oh I try, also tried to attempt to do a background I don't think I ended up drawing it but here's me uh, doing uh, perspective 101 which I didn't use at all because I don't have the pr I didn't have the proper brushes to do a background for this one so I just kind of gave up not like I'd even know what proper brushes for backgrounds would be anyway I just uh, tell you the truth I just don't draw backgrounds um, that's probably my main problem and here I am just going in and flattening the uh, the colors like everybody else does I'm probably not the most efficient at it but um, you know with practice I'll get better So um, like I said in my last video, I started an Instagram account. So if you guys um, have time, uh, just swing by, check it out. I'm a lot more active on that than I am on here. I try to post daily, you know. But um, yeah, this this art stuff, I, I want to make it into something, but it's taking up a lot of my time. And uh, I get busy with work, and the work is the stuff that pays, so I, I have to prioritize that, unfortunately. You know how it is, right? Baby Nick? Uh, Probably yeah. not. <laughs> it's like, I gotta go to work, but I can't play video games. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> exactly, something like that, I guess. Uh, I used to play video games, like, every single day. Now I go, like, entire weeks without playing video games. Oh, jeez, what a tough life, eh? Yeah. You wait till you, <laughs> you wait till you get a girlfriend or a wife, a mortgage. I'm a long way from a wife. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's still a baby, that's why I call him Baby Nick. Here I'm just putting in the darks. I usually put in like the mid-tones first, and then I'll go dark, and then I will go lights. The highlights and stuff like that comes in last. I'm still like out of breath, man, from that workout. Shit. You're yeah, really out of shape, actually. I am, um, I haven't worked out in a week, and... I feel like vomiting right now. Really weak? Mm. Like this? Dude, yeah. But my the workouts are pretty intense though. That's why. The workouts are too intense. They don't make any sense. I feel like dying. So yeah guys, if you if you like this video, I'd appreciate a follow. A thumbs up and stuff like that. Um That'd be awesome, guys. Do -do -do. So this is coming along. I'm putting in the highlights. Usually that means I'm pretty much almost done. Yeah, I have 14 seconds to go. I think there was more after this, but I didn't record it. But it, yeah, it was a lot of fun to draw. I really dig it. Oh, I did put a little background in there. Look at that. Okay, that's all. Research color time or color more. Sad face. And that's it. So, yeah, things I've learned from this illustration are I should probably focus less on line art because for the next one I want to do a more painterly style and practice background more. But overall, pretty happy with the way the art turned out. Um, really enjoyed it. This drawing didn't take that long at all. I think it just took, I think it took a little under four hours, believe it or not, um, to draw and color. They usually take me about seven, seven and a half hours each drawing. So I am getting faster, and I think it's all due to the fact that uh, the, I'm getting um, a better handle on the Mobile Studio Pro. It's definitely helped me draw a lot quicker. It's kind of sad because it's almost to a point where um, I don't even want to draw on paper anymore. And um, towards the end of last year, that was my goal, was to draw on paper more so that I can actually sell it at conventions. Um, but for 2017, it looks like I'm going completely digital, which could be good as well. Um, and that's why I've been putting it on YouTube, because I don't want it to kind of go to waste, right? At least do something with it. So that's it. Um, got any stories, baby Nick? Any stories? Yeah. Uh, like... Probably not. <laughs>
Probably not. All right. I'll let him think about that one. You gotta tell me to think of stories before I know. a video. Put him on the spot like that. Hey, what a jerk. Yeah, that's no fair. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope you like it. I hope you guys uh, picked up something from it. Um, but I think for the next one, I want to try something different. <coughs> Whoa, bless you. Uh, yep, thanks. That guy's dying. Anyway, thanks again. Give it a like. I'd appreciate it. And a follow. That would even be better. Okay? Until next time, I'll see you guys later. That went all right.